Hey guys, so we have been in the spring cleaning, spring redecorating mode. Well, I say we, it's more like me. But I thought I would take you along today, show you what changes we have made. And also, the last time I did a walkthrough kind of tour of our Max, I did it in the wrong format. So if you've watched that video, you know it's awful. <laughs> so we will try to do it right this time. So stay tuned. come on in. The first thing that we did is wallpaper. We've got two different kinds of wallpaper in the Max now. The wallpaper that we had before, um, if you'll come over here, I'll show you because we kept this dining room area the same. So this is what was up before. Well, it had started bubbling in certain areas like down in the corners, right down here, it started bubbling um, right over here just different areas it started causing us trouble so we had tried to resolve it by making some slits adding some adhesive that didn't work so I had seen some other girls on YouTube Instagram who had hung wallpaper so I thought I would give it a try I love it the peel and stick wallpaper at Home Depot or Lowe's. Actually, Lowe's has the best. Sorry, Home Depot. But um, Lowe's carries a brand from HGTV, and this is very forgiving, easy to match. It's textured. There's a seam right here, but you can't see it. It was very easy to put up. Now, taking down the wallpaper underneath it was a different story. That was a little more challenging, but um, I think well worth it. If it, especially if yours has started bubbling, I would definitely take it down. So the door, um, I found a contact paper that was in the stainless steel at Lowe's, and that I'll kind of show you from the edge. So it just goes on. So you have lots of privacy. You can't see through it at all. And I liked it because it matched the refrigerator, the stainless steel that's on the microwave. Um, it all just kind of tied together. All right, so to go along with this wallpaper that I really loved, I found a coordinating paper at Walmart. It's a little busy, so I didn't use a whole lot of it because I didn't want to overwhelm Chris. <laughs> I wanted to ease him into a pattern. So I decided to only go partially up the wall just to kind of differentiate between the bedroom, the kitchen, and the dining room. We have three different sections now. It feels more divided. So the color scheme that I chose, I kind of wanted to stay with the colors I already had in here because I didn't want to change out my rugs and I didn't want to change the balances. So I kind of picked a pattern and colors that would go with what I already had. And since it's so easy to change out, um, this will be an easy update every couple of years if we wanted to change the way it looks. The peel and stick is amazing and I highly recommend trying it also added since I had the tree before I really like the tree idea and so this is just a smaller version with mirrored panels and so um, if I don't like those or get tired of those those should be easy to remove or so we hope one of the things that we wanted to do is just kind of show you how we organize our camper um, you, you, we've we've shown 
bits and pieces of this in other videos, but we just thought we'd bring kind of all of it together. There's a whole other video on this table, so if you're interested about the table, just check our history of videos and you'll see where I've had a video on this. Um, so just the dinette in general, um, you'll notice that we have uh, that our cushions are covered. So Christy did a really good job. She actually went to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and behind each of these cushions, behind each of these cushions is a piece of particle board. One of the reasons that we wanted to have a more solid structure behind it is, especially with this cushion, it came up and it extended up here above this and so the cushion would actually fold down behind this little over top of this little cabinet this little cabinet by the way is great for uh we use it for paper goods toilet tissue kleenex paper towels that kind of stuff they fit in there really easily and that's that's where we store that stuff but like i said christy did a really good job on this and we used this particle board had it cut to size and then instead of just sewing it on, we have this really, really thick fabric. It's kind of leather-ish, but it's a super, super durable fabric and it fit great. And we just stapled it right into this wood. We did it on the bottom and we did it on each one of the cushions, on each one of the cushions so that we actually have more support. You know, some of the other things that we found, Christy found these little uh, boxes in uh, at Lowe's and they fit perfect in this little cubby right here. Even though it doesn't have a front lip, it sticks out a little bit. In the beginning, we would take these out and put bungees and store them and all that kind of stuff. We've been leaving them in here and they don't move. We haven't had any problems with these. And so they may slide around a little bit, but they're felt and they're not gonna hurt anything. Um, another thing that we added was down here. And you'll see we have a couple of little hooks and we added this elastic, um, netting and so that allows us to put we can put shoes we can put maps we can put all kinds of things we did it on this side under this bench seat and then we also did it under this other bench seat and so like you can see we have our little electric heater here um, we've also um, been able to put our whenever we're traveling we put our um, air fryer down here on the floor and strap it in as well so just adding those hooks, again, it's not like this thing doesn't have a lot of storage, but if you have heavy things or things that you just, just bulky things that won't go into an, a cabinet or something, this makes a great option. Um, many of you um, have seen that, you know, the Max has a couple of TVs. I'm not sure on the new ones if they've continued with the TVs or not, but in the 2018s, 2019s, which like we have, there is a, there's a front TV that pops right up. and connects to the DVD player. One of the other storage, you'll notice this shelf along the front here, and it's really, uh, it's, it's, it's not super deep and it slopes. So it's hard to get things in and out of here. But one of the things that we did was we found some square boxes and we kind of cut them to fit. So we cut them on a slant so that we can put, this is like power cords and electrical, you know, phone chargers and that kind of thing. And we have just a box set out for each one of them. It makes it really handy. You can pull these boxes down really quickly and easily and get to common things that you need from day to day. One of the other things that we get asked about quite a bit is just kind of this control center because we've had, we've added several things dead or down here. So the things that came standard on the camper were the Furion stereo, the system monitor, um, the, uh, the 120 outlet plug right here. Um, this is the, this is the lighting for the ambient light. That's the controller, the dimmer switch and everything for the ambient light and this charging center. And so those were the things that came kind of standard, um, with our, with our little guy. And we added, we added the other things that are on here. So you'll notice this is a, uh, an EMS system. So it's an electrical system to help when, whenever we're plugged into shore power. And we did it, we have a hardwired version. And it's under the refrigerator and under the drawer is where we installed that. And we have a video on that, I believe. Um, but that's just kind of the, 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 uh, the monitor for that. We have a tank monitor. So for our propane tanks and 
then we also have this is a, a little router this is a little micro router where we can connect it to a phone with a hotspot and then we can just connect all of our devices to the router rather than to the phone and then the last thing is this silver bar and you'll notice i mean all it is is a magnet it's just a big it's a knife it's a uh yeah it's a, a knife magnet bar like for a kitchen and we use it a lot for just odds and end things where we can stick them up here and put our phones here quickly plug in the charge you know plug it into the charger and put it there and and have it have it charging really quickly really easily um and it just makes it really convenient you know where your phones are and we have a little metal place in the middle plate in the back of our phone case so that we can do that so i ordered some of those online as well and then lastly, we have a command command hook here where we could put our sink cover and cutting board. Yeah, one of the other features that we really like about the Little Guy Max is the windows. There are windows on every side. You have the skylight window, the, the stargazer window over the bed. They're amazing windows. And we get asked a lot about how they open, how they work, etc. So they're real easy. They have, you know, four to six latches depending upon the window. You just really easily put, push it open. You can tighten these on either side. And then you can either raise, well, obviously if you're opening the window, you want to lower the screen from the top. But you also saw that we have the, the privacy shade too. So you can even use it like this. They hook together and you can do that so you can get some airflow, but you can have some privacy even with the windows open. The other thing is about the windows is whenever you're latching them, there's two latches. There's this latch, which is fully closed or this middle one, which leaves a gap in here to let air circulate through. So if you want to lock it, you want to lock your windows but still allow air circulate you can turn on the fan you can do this on any or all the windows that you want and it'll allow it to circulate some air while you're gone maybe but it still gives you that security of having your windows locked all right so the kitchen the way we have it organized now is this top part is an extenuation of our pantry so we just use it to hold mainly chips and things this is the other section of our pantry So it's a mess right now. I need to clean it. But I have little cubicles back in there that we can put canned food and stuff to keep things from rolling all over. So it's like a three-tiered. I got those at Harbor Freight. Um, I have a place here that I keep all my Ziploc bags. So in this top section is mainly storage. So I have some pots and pans here, some paper products in this drawer. This drawer came with the Max. Um, I have all of my skillets, my pots and pans up here. That way if I need something, I just get it out. All right, so the top drawer is all of my silverware, all of my utensils, um, which this comes in the max already. The second drawer is where I keep my plates, my collapsible bowls, my dish towels. I use these just to kind of secure things. I have a food chopper and two cups, a mug, cutting board here, a drying rack, for my dishes. Pretty much everything I need. And then the bottom drawer is for all of my plastic wear. So this plastic wear I got at Ikea. Super cheap. Um, but it's perfect for the Max. Because all of these things fit snug together. And there's tons in a great size for the camper. So, so under the sink is where we keep, we have a little container here that we can keep all of our plastic bags in. Uh, we found this on Amazon. 
And back there we have laundry stuff, cleaning stuff, tank cleaning stuff, um, our broom, and that's pretty much it for under the sink. So a couple of things in the kitchen, you'll notice that it has a backsplash. Um, Christy added this early on and it's just uh, it's a it's a stainless steel look, but I think it's just plastic tiles um, that were peel and stick and then we just sealed around the bottom uh, for those. Also, so this is the standard stove that comes on, uh, that came with our Max. Um, really easy two burner stove. The, uh, the sink, we found, this is a, just a little pull out um, and it has a drain where we can drain water or you know we can fill this up but we, we use it to wash dishes that way if you needed you know you need two pans or you want to rinse in one and wash in the other um we've also mounted a couple of baskets here we just have odds and ends just they're really nice i think these were at hobby lobby or somewhere but these are really easy produce or snacks produce snacks that kind of thing one of the other things that you may have noticed is we have these little things up here these are little keys we mounted these, and I think we have a whole video that talks about these, where these are our extra locks for when we travel. And they're all they are is kids' locks, but they won't allow it to open until we apply this little magnet. So once we get to where we're going, we just turn those off. That way we don't have to worry about it. But while we're traveling, they, they definitely saved us. And we just keep those little keys right up there. So one of the things, a couple of things that we added so digital temperature gauge, right? So we can see what the, what the temperature is out, what the temperature is in, has a light on it. Um, and that's just, we got it off of Amazon. It's battery powered. It has a, we have a sensor and we have it outside in the, in the front box so we can see what the temperature is outside. We also, one of the things people have asked, what is that above your fridge? Well, this is a refrigerator therm, uh, thermometer so that we have, there's two sensors and We've just gotten back from a trip, so our, our refrigerator is empty. But we have, there's two sensors that have little clips, and you can put one in your refrigerator and one in your freezer. And that way, you don't have to keep opening the door to see if your refrigerators work. Yeah. All right? This, is, this has been super nice because it just allows you at a glance to, you can see, Am I having a problem? Is my refrigerator staying cold? Is it getting as cold as it needs to? Is it freezing? We've had our refrigerator get so cold that it was starting to freeze things and we had to back it off. So it just makes it really nice so that you know what's happening in there without having to guess and without having to keep opening the door. For clothing, what we do is we use the two drawers and this closet. So within this closet, you'll see we've mounted some wire racks on the door and we've got wire racks inside we typically will either fold or roll our clothing versus hanging a lot of stuff up and so we've got wire racks that are just fixed we bolted those in we've got a wire uh, drawer right there and then really what we use for this is that's our laundry basket and then behind it we may have sho extra shoes or you know other other things um that that we use and that's how we use this particular space then in addition to that the drawer under here is typically the drawer that i use obviously we have a couple of other things but we found just some cardboard boxes to go in there and we'll put shirts or pants or whatever and again we would kind of either roll it up or fold it up and that's what i use for clothing and then Christy, if we, depending upon how many weeks or how many days we're going to be out, you know, she uses this. And again, same kind of thing. We've got some boxes in there to kind of help separate things. And so we'll use all of that. So for a for a two week trip, we will for a two week trip we will fill those up quite a bit. Now up above the refrigerator, it, we have again more little boxes, right? But these are this one is really handy because this has a lip on it. Right, has a frame around it to kind of keep things from, from falling out. So these aren't going anywhere. And so I don't necessarily need netting or anything over that. But this is basically our bathroom supplies. So I have a box, Christy has a box, and it has all of our toothbrush, toothpaste, medicines, uh, deodorant, you name it. All of the kind of the things that you would use in a bathroom we have right up there. Makes it really super convenient. So one thing about this bedroom area, I mean, I know it seems small, but they have really utilized the space in this. So as you'll notice back here, 
There's a lot of these cubbies that we can put towels and washcloths. Um, if we have a hammock, um, we keep our walkie talkies back here in case we are backing up the camper in the middle of the night. Um, this little bar Chris added back here, as he said up front, the little knife, it's a knife holder, but it works great. These are some little containers that I found at Walmart for like school supplies. Uh, they're supposed to be for lockers, but they work great. They don't fall. So if you want to put your controls in there, you can do that. These little hooks with magnets for our chargers. Um, we have a little fan back here that we can use in the middle of the night and it also makes some noise. I kind of have to have my fan going. Um, Chris also Chris also added this mirror for me so that I can do my makeup and it just lays flat out of the way. These makeup panels or actually these mirrored panels in the back I found at Walmart. It's been a long time ago but they are easy to mount and they are not glass. They're just plastic reflective pieces but they work great. This little uh, hook, just a little coat hook that we added. Um, I think it's just it's a fold up little coat hook that we that, you know that we found at IKEA. We put three of those in, one up by the door and then two back here in the in the uh, bedroom area. There's a cubby right up here that we keep extra blankets. And then you'll see we talked about these earlier, but the reading lights here right beside the bed. And then the, the window, this is a window, it's also an emergency exit for the bedroom area. So if there were something that happened and you needed to exit, this is the way to get out. And that's what it's intended for. So in the Little Guy Max, um, one, of the, one of the things about the bathroom that some people like, some people don't like, is the fact that it is a wet bath. So what is a wet bath? Well, that means that your toilet and your shower are in one little room. That's it. But in such a small camper, I don't know whether, whether, what other options you might have. And so, as you're looking through this, a couple of things. This is a bamboo mat, floor mat, that we found on Amazon. The, w the way that we use it is, whenever, whenever we're taking a shower, we take this out and we'll put this right at the entrance so that we can, you know, keep the water off the floor, etc. But then whenever we're finished taking a shower and we squeegee the, the pan into the drain, make sure that we get all the water out, but then we put it in there. That way, if you do have to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, you're not stepping in leftover puddle from the shower. So it gets you above, above that. Again, the shower is in the corner. You have the shower in the corner. Um, so we did change the shower head. This is a Oxygenetics, it's a low flow, supposed to help save, conserve water. It works pretty well for us. Um, and then there's storage over here that we added. There's a little bit there. Toilet paper, the toilet. Toilet is porcelain, so I mean, it's pretty sturdy. And then on the other side, we have um, just a net. That came with it, That kind of that mesh bag, storage bag that came in, uh, came standard on the Max as well. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell for notifications. We hope we have helped you with some ideas on how to decorate, possible storage, and if you haven't made your mind up about the Max yet, we hope we've persuaded you. So thanks for watching.